Hi, in this video what we'll do is we will select cost drivers and we're actually going to get to the point where we actually include this in a product cost, include overhead in a product cost, and show how gross margin can be affected by your choice between an, a, a traditional and an ABC costing methodology. So here's our scenario. We have various different pieces of information such as direct materials and direct labor, a sales price per unit, and expected production level per month. We also have a overhead bucket of $194,000 and we have some activities and their associated cost pools. We also have some cost driver information that says the number of setups between these two products is 50 versus 55, the number of inspections is 300 versus 350, and the number of machine hours is 2,000 versus 3,000. So that's our scenario we'll work with. Our first task is using the traditional approach. We're going to again use machine hours as a cost driver. So in a traditional costing methodology as far as overhead application, typically you will use just one cost driver. So we're assuming machine hours. So what is the overhead applied to each product line? In order to calculate this, we have to come up with a rate. So we'll take the entire cost bucket, the overhead cost bucket of $194,000 and divide by 5,000 machine hours because that is 2,000 plus 3,000. We get a rate that is $38.80. So in order to apply overhead to these two product lines, we would take 2,000 machine hours for the home tablet and multiply that by the rate of 3880. That gives us $77,600 of that $194,000 that we would apply to the home tablet. Then we would take 3,000 hours multiplying by the rate and we would get $116,400 that would be applied to the work tablet. Now, the cost per unit under a traditional costing system what you want to do is take, for the home tablet, our direct materials is $40. Our direct labor is $20. The overhead applied is going to be $97. So how do you get that? What you do is you take the overhead that is applied to that product line, which in this case is $77,600, and you divide by the expected production. Our expected production is 800 units. So $77,600 divided by 800 units gives you $97 of overhead per unit. So our total cost of a home tablet is $40 plus $20 plus $97. That gives us $157. The same type of calculation would work on the work tablet as well. Although in that case, in order to do overhead, you're going to be taking $116,400 and divided by the production, the expected production of 300. So what does the gross margin per unit look like with a traditional costing method? So our price per unit for the home tablet is $400. Our unit cost that we just calculated was 157. So our gross margin is the difference between the two. So $400 minus $157 gives you a gross margin of 243. The same calculation is what you do on the work tablet as well. So its sales price was 600, its unit cost we just calculated was 488, giving us a gross margin of 112. So now moving to the ABC costing scenario, we have to come up with our rates for the different activity cost pools. For our activity rate for um, setup costs, we have $80,000 and we have a total of 105 setups. So that's the 50 plus the 55. So when you take $80,000 and divide by 105 number of setups, you get $761.90. That's the rate that we would apply for setup costs. Same calculations for the rest of these, taking the activity rate, dividing by the number of inspections, like for quality control. So that's the 300 plus the 350. So you take $56,000 divided by 650 and you come up with a rate of 8615. So you get the pattern. Now, if we assume ABC, we want to assign overhead to each product based on those activity demands. 
So what this is, you take the number of setups times the rate that we just calculated. So for the home tablet, we would take for setup, we would take 50 setups and we would multiply that times the rate that we just calculated of 761.90. That is what gives us $38,095.24. So the rest of these calculations work exactly the same. Then we will calculate our production costs per unit in the ABC system. Our direct materials is still $40 for the home tablet. $20 of direct labor, and now we have an overhead of $108.93. We take the overhead applied to the product line and divide by the expected production. So in this case, we're taking $87,140-ish and dividing that by 800, which is our expected production per month. And that gives us approximately $108.93. So our total cost for, for producing the home tablet is 40 plus 20 plus 108.93. That gives us 168.93. The same calculations work for the work tablet. And then finally, we calculate the gross profit under a, the ABC costing method. Our price per unit is still $400 for the home tablet. We subtract the 168.93 as the unit cost that we just calculated and that gives us a gross margin of 231.07. You would go through the same calculations for the work tablet. So finally, here's our comparison. Our gross margin per unit under the traditional costing method for the home tablet, our gross margin was $243. However, for the ABC method, it was $231.07. And that is all due to how we are handling the overhead application when it comes to a per unit cost. So I hope that helps you in understanding how we get from the cost pool, the overhead dollars, down to a per unit cost and how that can affect your gross margin. If you have any questions at all, please leave them below. I'll be happy to answer your questions and I look forward to seeing you on another video.